Well, Matthew, second race in a week, got yeah. uh, corrected to 8 0 there. Were you happy with that time? Absolutely delighted, because coming back last week from a six-week injury with a broken toe and then a chest infection, come back to an 8.09 was good, and I was happy with it. So I got back onto the track and was working, working, and training hard, and then coming out to an 8-point, oh well, just brilliant. I'm really happy with it now, so I'm back on track, and then hopefully the times can just keep coming down. Brilliant. So how did you find it running? basically on your own there in lane two is that a hindrance or what is it like running away from the competition it's okay because sometimes when you're in race the same region it's just not many people so i suppose you get used to it it's good when you have a full race because then everyone's pushing each other and the times are going to come down significantly but i just ran my own race concentrated on a few things i had to concentrate on they came off yeah so you were chaining with uh, our own Gerald donnell earlier in the week and uh, you were talking about we've been building up a bit of a rivalry between yourself and sam healy has had a great race in cork and the summer another good one there how do, you, how do you feel about the rivalry as well, seeing as Weaving's running it up more than you? No, I find it's good to have a rivalry, because then the two people are pushing each other constantly. And like, he's a great lad, a good friend now, through athletics, and just keep pushing each other and then hopefully get to World Junior and European Junior times. So European Juniors this summer, you, were, you got the 1B standard on the final day, unfortunately you didn't get another opportunity to get it last year, but bodes well now, what's the target? Going to build towards the, the European Juniors? Yeah, definitely, I've set my sights now on getting the A standard. And then I've had my target for the summer to come under 14 seconds and then push on from this. And then I'm hopefully going to go to Sheffield now and try to go sub-8 and then finish in the indoors and then just work hard and then qualify again for the Europeans. So finally, one more thing. We've got this uh, Paul Robinson vest here. We'll raise it up. We've got a competition and basically it has to be for the best celebration. So have you got any celebrations that you would have done in a race if you, if you could have had it back there yet today? Any type of celebration there? I think it's still in the mobile because after all I am Matthew, but no, I, I, my celebration can be seen in my 400 hurdles when I won the outdoors last year. I had a massive just to the gods <laughs> screaming go. in pain and I can, it's on Instagram so if anyone wants to find it there you can find it. Okay, what's your Instagram? We'll check it out. Uh, I'm at, at Matty Behan. At Matty Behan, right, we'll check that out. That's our first celebration. All right.